Okay, you ready? Thank you all for being here in the uh, in the joyous town of Peak on the second Sunday in December. Um, today is a special occasion not only for the parade but for a presentation that we'd like to give for our mayor, uh, Mr. Lewis Sheely. Um, about a year or so ago, a, a self-appointed committee that we call ourselves, I guess, the Peak Development myself and and my mom and Alan Evelyn and and Ann Maddox and Buddy Johnson uh, Mr. Waltz attended a few meetings with us we've we've uh, met on several occasions to kind of talk about um, what we'd like to see for the future of Pete um, but also have realized that we need to protect the legacy of Peak as well um, and certainly in my generation, my father's generation, uh, there are a number of folks who have had a tremendous impact on this town, um, one of which is sitting right here in front of me, Mr. Lewis Sheely. Uh, Mr. Lewis was voted in as mayor in 1970, is that correct? And has been the mayor here for, is that 45 years now? So, um, so uh, and I can't begin to say the number of things that he's done for uh, myself and my family and the town of Peak. Um, things that sometimes go unnoticed, even go unasked for, but um, are always appreciated. Uh, he's just, he's done a lot and certainly the town of Peak would not be what it is without him. Uh, so what we decided as a committee to do um, was to name the fire department after this. Or at least ring the bell, right? I'd like to present you with this resolution uh, from the county um, that Mr. F. Lewis Sheely has been a lifetime resident of Newberry County, growing up in Little Mountain, until he wed Miss Ann Derrick and moved to her hometown of Peak. Uh, worked in various family businesses until he began work with SCNG at BC Summer and retired in the 1990s. He was elected mayor of the town of Peak in 1970 and served continuously since, and has been an ardent advocate for the well-being of Peak and its citizens and residents. In addition to cutting the grass in the town of Peak, <laughs> the mayor of the town of the way in Calvin, he was the guiding spirit behind the construction of the town hall and fire station. What? And the Peak Development Committee has requested this method of honoring Mr. Mayor Sheehan. Now therefore, be it resolved that Newberry County Council hereby directs that the structures housing the town hall of and fire station of the town of Peak shall be named and known hereafter as the Lewis Sheely Town Hall and Fire Station. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. Y'all, I have really enjoyed. <clears throat> I enjoyed Peak. That's what I told Ann. I thought I would fit this wedding anniversary. You know. <clears throat> I could have found a girl anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Not one that would have had you, Lewis. <laughs> if she wanted to leave, she could, but I was standing here. Oh, turn it around, Lewis, so we can see it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we, uh, oh, yeah. All right. I've had a good time up until Ann died. And once Ann died, Hold it up. Hold it up. Down. Not, not over your face. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh boy. Yeah, there <laughs> But I'm proud of my little town and, 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 and what Lewis done in the town of Peak. When I moved here, I loved it just like it is. And if it's working, why change it? It's good. I love Peak just like it is. And, and this is one of them politicians that don't want to see no growth. But I don't want to see no growth in Peak. I'd rather see some of the old folks that 
got children that moved away, moved back in, you know, mm -hmm. fill up some of the houses, but I don't see how we could even ever get a, 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 a infrastructure in here that would, with, with the hills and the gullies and the river and the floodplain, where would you put it, <laughs> you know? The only thing you could do is extend the town limits and make it well on our channel where you'd have a place to put it. And man, count me out. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. A lot more rest could. <laughs> a lot more rest could. I'm happy just the way it is. Yeah, we still like taking a little. Okay. Go ahead. I Come thank on. you all. We, we think, ain't through yet. Huh? We ain't through yet. I thank you all for, for, for this award. Well, Lewis, I. Uh, Walt called me the other day and said that uh, the Newberry County Council was planning on doing this, and we we planned to be here. And this time, uh, the girls at Penarets reminded me, thank goodness I was on time. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was late for the anniversary of the Penner Clinic down here. I had the wrong time on my calendar. But that being said, uh, Representative, you know, Lewis might just, he might be on to something. Maybe we could convince some of those other politicians down there that, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Amen. That's <laughs> what I heard him say a while ago is, is working well, leave it alone. Amen. You know? Amen. So, uh, but I, but I got to tell you, and, and I don't know if you would go back into the early 70s or not, but I was working for uh, Joe Smith down here at Pete Pharmacy during that time. And I can remember following politics and Pete. That probably is where it got me started. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Pete, Pete was a hotbed of politics. <laughs> and, and let me tell you, when it came to elections for mayor, oh my goodness. And, uh, you, you'd probably have 15, maybe 20 people vote. Or what. <laughs> and, and the truth is, I think, J.C. Ellis, I hold the out there, J.C. Ellis was one of our former mayors. I don't remember all of them. We didn't have too many of them down here. <laughs> Lewis has been here so long. Dr. Yeah. Lewis, Lewis has been mayor probably uh, about the time the town was incorporated or, or, or built. <laughs> but, but that being said, uh, Lewis, you've done a great job down here. I remember you called Walt and I when they talked about taking the post office away completely. Uh, it's still here, although it's working on some shorter hours and all that. It's still here, and he was a tremendous advocate for that. But talking about the mayor's race and how heated it was back then, it used to be, it was like, J.C. say, Lewis, you take it this year and I'll take it next year. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, Lewis, thank you for all you've done for Peak and uh, being a stalwart here uh, for the nine growth that we've had. I was politicking out, running around trying to get somebody to take this damn gun. <laughs> <laughs> don't look too hard, you might get something you don't want. Cut, and cut it a lot of years. Back when I was at New Clinton, it was 12 hours a day, 7 days a week. And got on the lawn one cut it. And uh, Mr. C's used to help me a lot, cut the grass down there. And, and I used to empty the trash cans. and. Carry them off, but I got another fellow volunteer to do that now. So, and we're paying somebody to cut the grass. <laughs> I've accumulated enough money to pay somebody. To cut the grass. <laughs> yeah. well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. For being here. Let me just say this, uh, Lewis, the mayor peak is a product of Little Mountain, South Carolina. <laughs> He grew up in a house right across the street from where I currently live. All the coming home from work with his coat under his arm and looking into the house. And I want you to know that Little Mountain's loss has been peak gain, and we thank you for your dedicated and distinguished service. Uh, just a few days ago, I was in Charleston speaking to the Association of Counties, and the, day, the night before that, they had this huge celebration honoring the service of the Mayor of Charleston, a guy named Joe Riley, yeah. who had served a total of 40 years. And we're honoring a guy today who's been the mayor for not 40, but 45 years. <laughs> <laughs> and that is almost a one half century. <laughs> now you know the stress level 
for the mayor of Charleston is uh, somewhere up here, but the stress level for the mayor of Peak is about right there. <laughs> so we appreciate your dedicated and, dis and distinguished service. It's, it's our, as Senator Crum and I are thrilled to be here. We're pleased to know that the Peak Firehouse and Fire Station in Town Hall will in the future be known as the Lewis Sheely Fire Station in Town Hall. We are proud of your achievements. We thank you for your uh, many years of dedicated service. And uh, I, uh, if I hadn't, if you'd have been in Little Mountain, maybe you'd have been the mayor instead of me. And that might have been. <laughs> <laughs> so we thank you all for being here. Uh, it's, a, it's a high honor for Senator Crow and I to be here and recognize this distinguished public servant and public official. We thank you for the cooperation you've extended to him through the years. Peak, as I would call it, a Peak kind of looks like a, a little alpine village. It's a magnificent place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I hope we can keep it that way. We will. Mm -hmm. Me too. Well, I, I think probably uh, the odds are that you will. <laughs> uh, because things change very slowly in a rural area, particularly little communities adjacent to the Broad River. So, so uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Walter, all we need is our roofs fixed. We <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. We enjoyed being here. The parade, as usual, was a was a wonderful parade. We thank all those who are responsible for for, for uh, safeguarding and and retaining the Peak Christmas Parade in in Newberry County. We've got the Newberry City Parade, the Prosperity Parade, the Whitmire Christmas Parade, and the Peak Parade. And the last one is the best one. Hooray for the Peak Christmas Parade! <laughs> I just want to say one thing. I'm just glad to be his cousin. I love you guys. I didn't know you were his cousin. Well, I'm glad to. Well, now you want to make a little speech or something? I've heard a member of the speech you used to make it to employees that are red and white. I think you can probably do the same. I'm <laughs> okay, Ben, thank you for being a wonderful yes, master sir. ceremony. We'll turn it back over to you. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody for, for being here and especially thank Mr. Lewis. Let's give him one more round of applause, guys. Yeah, hey. Thank you, folks. Yes, sir. Thanks. Randolph. 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 Randolph.